what's up guys i uh actually just got back last night from the uh march meet in bakersfield um wow i just wanted to get like a quick update video together because <laughs> i really haven't made anything in a really long time um let's see well the bakersfield meet uh, <laughs> that was by far out of any nitro event I've ever been to the biggest gathering of nitromethane powered cars ever. And I will make another video explaining why nitromethane is so good again, but, um, I actually deleted it from the channel. <laughs> but again, it was like, well, let's start from the beginning. I, um, I left the house at about 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Friday night, and drove all the way down to Bakersfield, and we got at the hotel around 1.30 in the morning, <laughs> and if you notice, I'm a little sunburned just on this side, because of the friggin' uh, sun from the track, but anyways, we got there, and then we woke up at about 7.30, and booked our way over there on Saturday, and I was immediately shocked with the amount of classic Nitro cars there. I mean, I don't know if you guys ever seen the old school top fuel cars. I call them rail cars. It was like, there were, there had to be a hundred of them or more. And they had so many that there were different classes. They had the fuel alters there. They had, um, the rail cars. They had funny cars. Um. And there were like a bunch of them weren't nitro powered, but most of, or at least half of them were. So of course I was like shocked. And there were at least, they had enough to keep 45 minutes or 50 minutes of just straight nitro racing. And like I said, I'll make another video if you have never been to one or you don't know what I'm talking about. But anyways, yeah, we got there and the view from Auto Club, Auto Club Formosa Race, Raceway was just absolutely Gorgeous. You could see the grapevine in the background and just nothing around you. I mean, that's the first time I've actually gone down to Bakersfield, at least that I can remember. Um, I know we've been to LA and stuff, but I was a little kid when we drove. And it's literally just flat. <laughs> I mean, oh man. And yeah, I'll, I'll make another video, but it's like these, this get together, I didn't realize how big it was. There, I met a couple next to me that were sitting there and they came all the way from South Dakota. There were drag people there. They were racing their cars from Norway and Hawaii. Um, it really was just a great experience. I didn't realize also that it really was in the middle of nowhere. Like right off five, we stayed in our hotel and then we had to drive 30 minutes in between, uh, pastures of, you know, just farmland, 30 minutes to get to this drag strip, 30 minutes inwards of Highway 5, and a little bit north, and it was just, there's nothing, <laughs> and all of a sudden, you just hear the sounds of beautiful alcohol and nitromethane V8s roaring to life as you're pulling up, and it brings tear to your eye, I'll tell you, but, um, oh, what else, little quick update besides that, um, well, I sold the Subaru, so I guess I have to change my name again. Um, really nice couple. They, they just, yeah. And let's see what else. I got that for six seven, and I actually bought this truck. And well, I'll probably have to get a better view of it, but it's an 05 GMC Sierra with the five three in it. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of crap has changed. <laughs> But other than that, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. See ya.